I sincerely request all of you to please don't get me wrong. The intention behind this video is not to scare you or to create a terror about this subject physics in your mind. I still remember the day of the examination, ICSC physics paper semester 1. When student came out of the examination hall giving this paper, their response was mixed. It was like the paper was okay, paper thik tak tha. But the problem was when the answer sheet came out. And when they started telling their answer with the answers from the answer sheet given by the council, most of the answers by the students were wrong. And when students found that they are getting 28, 24, 17 or even less out of 40 in physics, the panic struck in. My intention of making this video is very clear. I don't want student to have same day and same kind of paper in semester 2 as well. That feeling is terrible. If same kind of paper is asked in semester 2 as well, we should have a solution. We should have an answer to that kind of situation. Hence this video. I know that you have to do some of these people paper was easy, very easy. But stats shows that the students who got more than 37 marks out of 40 in physics, the number of those students is less than 1%. If you see this specimen paper given to us by CISCE or council, you will find that the physics paper or the specimen physics paper is not easy either. That paper is also challenging. That rings a warning bell for us. We have to prepare ourselves very well for the semester 2. We should not leave any stone unturned. Humko hamare koshish mein kahi kasar nahi chhodni hai. And we all come out of the examination hall with a smile on our face. I want to share some tips, give some suggestions for the preparation of this subject. So let's have a look at the syllabus given to us by the council for semester 2 examination. Only four topics, looks great, sound, that also not even full chapter, electricity and magnetism, heat and modern physics, that sounds great, only four topics. But hang on, these four topics have so many subtopics and all the topics are concept oriented topics. Your Ratta Maro strategy is not going to work for these topics and their subtopics. You have to understand the concept. So my tip number one is don't Ratta Mar. Ratta Maro strategy is not going to work for your examination. Understand the concept. Concentrate all your energies to understand the concept properly so that you can answer any question of your examination. My suggestion number two or tip number two is concentrate on the keywords. Your paper is subjective now so you have to write the answers and if your answer does not include keywords, mind you keywords, you are not going to get marks. Now have a look at these two questions. Question number one, why base of a frying pan is made thick? Or question number two, why copper is used and not the aluminium for the preparation of calorie meter. Now correct keyword for question number one is the heat capacity. And the correct keyword for question number two is the specific heat capacity. So if you use a proper keyword at a proper place, nobody can stop you from getting good marks in your examination. I am sure your teachers must have made these points clear in your mind while teaching this chapter. But if you still are confused, need revision for this chapter, then you can go through my videos on the YouTube. So my dear students, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification button because I keep on uploading the stuff, so many videos 
which will help you to get good marks in your semester 2 examination. Also, share the link of our video and the link of our YouTube channel with as many friends of yours as possible. So you also get some brownie points for doing a noble work and your luck favor you in your examination. And third and very important requirement to get good marks in physics is please refer to quality notes as per your reduced syllabus because I don't want you all to waste your time in reading unwanted things when countdown for the examination has already begun. For clearing your concept of physics, the notes which you are referring must have lots and lots of situation based question, ample of diagrams and also the numericals which are based upon your concept. If you want the correct and crispy notes, you can download my app. Prepwin app available on the Play Store. I am proud of my notes as these notes have been helping so many students for so many years to get good marks. And keep in mind, I keep on modifying, making changes in my notes as council keep on changing, modifying its syllabus. My notes hit the nail at the head. Number one, it is in simple and easy language. Two, they are as per the further reduced syllabus. Three, it includes lots and lots of situational based questions. Four, it has numericals which help you to understand the concept in a better way. Five, it prepares you thoroughly for your examination. And above all, it is available free of cost on our app prep win on the play store so please download this app and if you find it useful please rate us review us on the play store currently of all the study material available in the market our notes are the best and above all they are free of cost fourth point is very important numericals please practice as many numericals as possible related to your syllabus related to your concept the type of questions which are asked in your board examination i know many of you find it difficult to digest why numericals why maths in physics but do you know in a state of karnataka tulu is a proper language but this Tulu language does not have a script. Whenever you have to write a Tulu language, a Kannada script is used. Same thing is with physics. Physics does not have its own language. The language of physics is maths. So see any concept of physics, any definition, it is always followed by a equation. In physics, we study about the physical quantities. And these quantities are expressed in terms of numbers, their magnitude. Once you convince your mind that physics and maths go hand in hand, things will become easy for you. And in semester 1, almost 50% of the weightage of your question paper was for the numericals and other 50% was theory. So you can understand how important numericals are. Please don't ignore them. Now fifth point is very important. It is regarding your evaluation. To get good marks, what you have to do is you have to solve all PYQs, which means previous year's question. And also make sure that apart from your school and classes test, you solve at least three sample papers. And these three sample papers I am going to provide you. Very soon in my next physics video, I will provide you a downloadable link from where you can download the sample papers. Download that paper and solve it. Then I will come live on our YouTube channel where we together are going to solve this paper. Not only that, I will also take your doubt regarding any particular question or any particular concept or any particular chapter. So please join me. We will have a lot of fun. We will have a gala time. That is the reason I am asking you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and spread its link with your friends. Last but not the least, stay calm, stay cool, relax yourself from time to time. 
you need a break between long hours of studies and i always believe you need not do hard work instead you must do smart work you have to gain more in the less time which you are investing and finally remember what we can do we can only put our efforts in studies rest or live in the hands of almighty i know you young boys and girls you have lot of potential and nothing is impossible for you so what is this semester 2 examination i am sure aap log usko bhi fod denge so stay blessed i am pravin sonavne you are watching india's most reliable and relevant educational channel where you get best in class study material and video lectures do check the links in the description box yo